up everybody? This is Austin coming at you with another Fit Friday. Today is Friday and we are going to be doing a lot of exercise to help us stay fit for this week and the weekend. Let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about our core. Does anybody know where their core is? If you guessed your stomach area, then that's correct. So your core is your stomach area. So we're going to be learning a little bit about our core today. We're going to be doing some exercises to help make our core nice and strong. All right. So we're going to have lots of fun today. But first, we need to make sure that we're warmed up. Super important whenever we exercise that we warm up, regardless of what types of exercises that we're doing. Today, we're going to be doing some strength exercises with our core. So we're going to be doing some warm-ups that are going to help our core a little bit. So the first thing I'd like for you to do is we're going to start with some trunk rotations. Now, trunk rotations are really simple. All we're going to do is rotate all the way around. Think of the middle of your body as a big ball that we're trying to move around in big circles. If you need to, you can bend over a little bit. You might also feel a little stretch in your back. That's okay. Our back is important too for our core exercises. So we want to make sure that that is stretched nice and good too. And let's keep going for about 10 more seconds. We're not going to count this time. And we are going to get finished with our trunk rotations right about now. All right, so you can stop your trunk rotation. Now, if you want to pause the video and go in the other direction like this, feel free to do that. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like and do that for about 15 or 20 seconds. You don't necessarily have to do that, but if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, that is an option for you as well. All right, so our next exercise for our warm up is we're going to do some trunk twists now. Okay, so instead of rotating, we're going to twist side to side. We're not going to bend at all. All we're going to do is we're going to twist like this side to side. All right, so we'll give this about 15 seconds or so. Now, if you start to get dizzy, that's okay. If you need to pause the video and take a break and start again, that's fine. Or if you'd like to slow down like this, that is another option for you as well. All right, so let's go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Our last warm up is going to be something called good mornings. Okay, and we call these good mornings because the motion that we're going to make is going to look something like what you'd see somebody do when they first get up in the morning. That's why we call them good mornings. So it's kind of like the good morning stretch that we're going to do in just a second. All right. So how that's going to work is we're going to stand up straight. We're going to put our hands right over our head like this. And then we're going to come down and back up again. Now, when you're coming up from that bent over position, you're going to want to squeeze that core out so that you stretch it just a little bit more. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do this 10 times. And I'm going to help us, just like when we do our actual workout, to make sure that we're going down and back up at the right pace, okay? All right, here we go. Ready? Down and up. One, down and up. Two, down and up, three, down, and up, four, 
down and up five down and up six down and up seven down and up eight down and up nine one more ready down and up ten all right if you need to take a breather if you need to get some water if you need anything, feel free to take a little bit of a break and pause the video, and then we're going to get started with the actual workout. All right, so hopefully you've taken a little bit of a break, you've gotten some water, maybe done a little shake like this to help you get loosened up just a little bit more. Now we're actually going to get into the meat and potatoes, if you will, of our workout. We're going to get into the fun stuff, okay? So these exercises, all three of these exercises are going to require you to lie down on the ground, okay? So you're gonna need a relatively soft spot to lie down on on the ground, whether that's a yoga mat, those are super helpful, whether that's a carpet. If you need to lie down on a hard surface like a floor or on the ground outside, that's fine too. But ideally, you want a surface that's a little bit softer, okay? Because we're going to be lying on the ground and we're going to be lifting ourselves off of the ground, okay? And we're going to be doing three different exercises that are going to help us learn to do that. Okay, let's start with the first one. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do something called a crunch, okay? So what that's going to mean, again, like I said earlier, we're going to need to lie down. And if you need to pause the video to get a yoga mat or find a different spot to lie down on, feel free to do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lie down on the ground. Okay? Now, for the most part, when we're lying on the ground doing core exercises, we want to keep our knees bent. Okay? And the crunch is no different. Okay, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your hands behind your head like this. So you notice my hands aren't interlocked. They're just sitting comfortably on top of each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift up using our stomach and then come back down to the ground, okay? Try not to lift using your neck, okay? You don't want to manipulate your neck up like that. You want to be using your stomach to get up off the ground and back down again. Okay? So we're going to do this 10 times. Now, if you need to pause the video and go at a slightly different pace, or if you can't quite get up to 10, that's fine. Try to make it your goal to do all 10 of them and try to go at my pace. And just like we did when we did the good mornings, I will tell you when to come up and down. So if you need to pause the video or anything like that, feel free to do it. But let's try to make it our goal to do all 10 of them. All right, here we go. Ready? Up and down. One. Up and down. Two. Up and down. Three. Up and down four, up and down five, up and down six, up and down seven, up and down eight, up, and down nine, up, and down ten. All right, so the next activity we're going to be doing is we are going to do some leg drops, okay? So you notice my hands are no longer behind my head, 
We don't need them to be there for this one, okay? And in fact, for this exercise, we don't want our knees bent at all. We actually want our knees to be straight, as far out in front of us as we can get them, okay? So pretend like you're a big stick and you're trying to make yourself as long as you possibly can. Okay, that's what we want to do for this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift our legs up into the air at the same time like this. Up. And down. Okay, and that's going to give us a really deep workout deep inside our stomach, inside our core. Okay, and as far as where your hands can be, Find the most comfortable position for them. So like for me, I like to have them at my side when I do this, but if you prefer to have them on your chest, that's fine. I would not recommend having them right behind your head because that is gonna change the arch of your back just a little bit. So it's a little bit better if you're completely flat. That way you can just lift and drop, okay? Now, if it's gonna be too hard to lift both legs at the same time, you can actually lift one leg at a time, like this. So you can go up and down like that. Not gonna give you as deep of a core stretch, it's gonna be more of a hamstring stretch. Another option, if you'd like a little bit more of a core stretch, is you can sit up and do it, okay? The problem with this, though, is that you might get a little bit wobbly, okay? So if you wanna go up, and down, again, it's going to stretch your legs more than your core, but if you really need a modification, those are your options, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So just like before, just as a reminder, if you need to pause the video at any time, feel free to do that. If you need to go at a slower pace or do fewer than 10, that's fine as well. I am going to be lifting both of my legs, okay? So again, if you need to do one of the modifications that I just showed you, feel free to do it, okay? However, I would not recommend it just because it's not gonna stretch your core as much as if you were going to do both legs, okay? All right, so we are going to lift and come down 10 times just like we did for our crunches, okay? Here it comes, ready? Up and down, one, up and down, two, up and down, three, up and down, four, up and down, five, up and down, six, up and down, seven, up and down, eight, up and down, nine, one more, up, and down, ten. All right, are we ready for the last one? This is kind of the granddaddy of them all, as I like to call it. This is our full sit-up, okay? So this is going to look similar to a crunch, except the placement of our hands is going to be very different. Okay, so in a crunch, remember we put our hands behind our head. In a sit up, we put our hands on our thighs. Okay, so just as a reminder, our thighs are right below our knees as we're going up towards our stomach. Okay, so that's where we want our hands to be. Now, when we lift off the ground, our goal is to try to lift so that our hands reach our knees, okay? And one thing you'll notice is that my feet don't come up into the air, okay? Now, this may be harder for some people, that's okay. Again, if you need to pause and go at a slower pace so that you can feel what it feels like, 
It's totally fine. Also, if you're just starting out and you're noticing that your legs are coming slightly off the ground, that's okay. As long as you're lifting up so that you're getting up to the tops of your knees, you're gonna get a really, really good core workout, okay? So try to keep all these things in mind. Also, another thing too, is you wanna lift so that your shoulders come about two inches off the ground, okay? So those are our goals when we're doing full sit-ups. All right, let's make it our goal to do all 10 of them together. All right, here they come, ready? Up and down, one, up and down, two, up and down, three, up and down, four, up, and down five we're halfway there everybody keep it going up and down six up and down seven up and down eight up and down nine and up and down ten all right those are tough all right so our last order of business just like every fit friday is we are going to cool down okay we're going to do some exercises because we just worked our core muscles really, really hard. So we want to help them heal a little bit. Okay, so we're going to teach you a couple new exercises that you can do for a cool down. Okay, first thing you can do is you can do something called a side bend. Now, this is kind of similar to a trunk twist, except instead of just twisting side to side, we're actually going to bend side to side. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you a little bit of a pinch right in the side of your core. When you bend to the right, you'll feel the pinch on the right side of your core. And then when you bend to the left, you're gonna feel a pinch on the left side of your core. Okay, so this is an exercise that's gonna help us stretch out and loosen up both sides of our core. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll do this for about 15 seconds, okay? All right, here it comes. Ready, set, go. Again, nice and gentle. You don't need to flail around or anything like that. All you need to do is just bend side to side. All right, so we'll end in about five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, excellent. So we're gonna do another stretch now. This one's gonna be called a side reach, okay? So what that's gonna mean, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, we're gonna start by reaching out to the left side first, again, so that we can kind of pinch that left side of our core. Then we're gonna to go to the right side, okay? Now, in a side reach, what we do is we put our right hand up in the air so it's pointed to our left side, and then we put our left hand on our right elbow, okay? So we're gonna make a little triangle with our hands. Then all we're gonna do is we're gonna to bend to the left side and try to reach as far to the left as we can. Okay, and try to keep both of your hands and both of your arms above your head if you can, okay, especially that right one, okay? So we're just going to keep bending to that left side. We're going to hold that stretch for about 15 seconds. All right. And this one I will count down for you. All right, here it comes. Ready? 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, let's go to the other side now. So we're going to put our right hand on our left elbow. Our left hand is reaching out to our right side. We're going to bend to that right side. Feel that stretch in our back all the way into our core. And we're going to stretch this for 15 seconds. Ready? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, real quick, want everybody just to take a few seconds to do a few more trunk rotations. Also, another thing you can do is practice some deep breathing while we do this. So in and out. One more time. Breathe in and out. Excellent job, everybody. Hey, thank you so much for coming to another Fit Friday session. We loved having you here today. We look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, let's all be Somi Fit Champions. See you next time, everybody.